good. Thank you guys for tuning in. Man, it feels like it's been a long time. It's been about maybe two to three weeks. I haven't filmed in a while. I went out to vacation, came back. I was in Chicago and I don't know, I just got in the lazy mode and I haven't done anything. The car is completely trashed up guys, but we do have a video for today. I told you guys we're gonna start working on performance mods and we're gonna be working on suspension and all that is thanks to one of you guys, my subscribers. Y'all shit me out a box right there. Shout out to Frank all the way from Florida. Hit me up on Instagram and I was like, hey man, I got this part. If you wanted it spare, I used it for a couple miles, like not even a hundred miles. It's like, it's pretty new. This is a pair of rear control arms, I believe. He said he used them for a bit and then he was like, no, nah, I want to get the adjustable one. So he upgraded and he sent me these out for free. Frank, uh, 197 on Instagram. Go ahead and thank him, guys. Show him some love. And we're soon after all that's done, we're going to go ahead and I'm going to take it to a local shop where I'm going to get the upper and lower intake manifolds ported. So more gains, guys, more performance mods. I told you guys it's going to be a promise. We're going to start working on performance. But let me go ahead and show you guys what we're working with right now because I haven't even touched the car, I haven't driven the car in a couple of weeks. The car is filthy dirty. It's like for some reason, I don't know what happened. Either somebody vandalized it again while we were gone. Some white marks here. And I don't know if they pulled this off. Like the freaking splitter rod broke or somebody pulled it off. So I'm working with that. This thing popped off as well, the side markers. So I'm going to go ahead and put that back up there. I need to get it washed. I don't know what's up with all this crap. Mirror covers, I'm either going to have to get them painted or buy some new ones. My fault. I haven't, uh, I've been neglecting it too much. The roof is pretty toasted. I'm going to get it buffed out and uh, wrapped as well. And we're going to have some other stuff coming in soon. We got Efrain. He's going to be helping me today. But we do have the box, so let's go ahead and start opening it up. non-adjustable like I said he did upgrade to the adjustable ones for his car but should help out with it's uh what the wheel hop and I think it helps you get off the line a little bit faster I think it helps with the zero to 60 times or whatever the quarter quarter mile of time but we do have white line we have two of them we're gonna work on the rears and it's gonna help put the suspension together so when we do put the coal overs and everything and I'm gonna go ahead and read the letter here and we'll start the install in a bit all right guys so cj pony parts already has like an installation video so i'm just gonna walk by it real quick with you guys there's the clip that you guys need to remove which is the brake clip right here from the brake line and it just goes off like that and then back here we have two 18 millimeters one here and then the other one back there we did need to use a breaker bar or you can if you have an extension you can use an extension but we did use a breaker bar just to break that bolt loose. Let me show you guys real quick. Right there, we broke that one loose. Now we're gonna use this ratchet right here just to loosen it up from both ends. You can see this is the rear control arm right there, this whole piece. That's the one we're gonna be removing and installing the new ones from white line, which we do have over here. And also guys, I forgot to mention, these are lighter as well these do weigh i believe three and a half pounds and the stock ones weigh it's six pounds i did do my research beforehand so in total you are saving yourself about five pounds so if you are worried about weight reduction this is one of the ways to go so it's just gonna go just like this on that side and we're gonna just repeat the same process on this side as well so not only are we getting performance on the car but it's also gonna look a lot better i mean no one looks under it but just knowing like it gives you peace of mind knowing that the car is taken care of and has good parts now Are you okay? yeah yeah you got the control arm off this is a stock one looks nasty it's a lot bigger thicker and this is the white line control arm these are non-adjustable but they say these are lighter than the stock ones but honestly like they kind of feel the same what do you think? Yeah. yeah. They feel the same. So I don't know. That's, I mean, that's what it says. They're lighter, but eh, whatever. I mean, 
should help out. So we're gonna go ahead and install this side and then we're gonna go ahead and just do the same thing we did here on that side. Y'all saw it was pretty easy, just a few bolts and tightening everything back up and we should be good to go. Before we get started, I did say you gotta remove the brake line. Um, correction, it is the emergency, the handbrake, right? Yeah, yeah the handbrake, so just quick correction, handbrake, not the brake line. Yeah. Literally takes about half an hour if you're not talking and lollygagging. It should be pretty quick. And we're gonna go ahead and test drive it, see if we feel any difference and if it's actually worth it or not. Alrighty guys, the control arms are installed. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and take it for a drive, see if I feel any difference. I doubt I'll be able to feel anything. I mean, it's one of those mods. It's not like we gain horsepower on it, but let's see how the, I guess the bumps and the handling feels, maybe on the traction when I take off right on a bit. I'm gonna do a small pull. See how that feels. I'm not expecting anything crazy. Let's see. Oh shoot, okay, I don't know if it was, okay, that was a pretty good pull. I don't know if it was because of the control arms, but uh, that felt pretty good. Let's try it again, small pull. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if it's just the car acting up pretty good or it's just hooking pretty good. Um, feels different, I'll tell you that much. I, I mean, I'm not exaggerating anything. Like I said, it's control arms. It's not like I gained 50 horsepower, but it is said you're supposed to get better traction, uh, no wheel hop. Handling wise, you know, I'm not gonna feel anything handle wise, but seems pretty good, man. Seems pretty decent. I'm gonna do one more small pull. So one, two, three. I like it. Is it supposed to feel like that? You guys that know a lot more when it comes to the suspension and, and all this type of things. I don't know a bunch of this. I don't honestly. So those of you who do feel it, Frank, you sent this out to me. Um, you're the guy. Is it supposed to feel this good? Is it supposed to pull this hard right away? Let me know if it is. Well then, ladies and gentlemen, get yourself some real control arms because they're worth it. But uh, I'm home, guys. Seems good, looks good. We're gonna go ahead and double check it later on, just make sure everything is bolted on correctly. We did check that it's on, but you know, you always wanna double check because you don't want any accident and stuff like that to happen. Thank you guys for watching. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, like guys. I'll catch you on the next one. God bless.